I just they all thought it was fine. And I go backstage, and the jury who are behind the judges can have like a second call if they don't yeah. agree what the judges what? called. So, but what? Where yeah. do they live? <laughs> all over the world, unfortunately. Yeah, bloody <laughs> heroes. So there's a jury and you? a judge. Yeah, there are three judges, and then there are the jury, jury. behind that. Yeah, and they honestly. Uh, change the decision they Maybe cha- check some tape They uh, changed my decision Yeah for my 124 To say I had an elbow Bend when I caught it Like you have to catch oh. it Locked out They said that I I'm going to put it down As so an Aussie Wankers Wait a minute Wait a minute that? Yeah no but wait a minute Because like In the normal world The judge is the one that has Yeah The judges are the one Like even in football Oh no football Now they've got video I just thought yeah. I was lifting yeah. though Like But no. Getting no. it up and getting it up for holding uh, it for a certain it, time. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, your feet have to be together before the referees let you put it down and you can't bend your elbows. Okay. Yeah, Once you I catch c- it, I can see it's it. got to okay. be solid. So where do the jury sit? Uh, they sit on a desk behind. Behind the judges? Yeah. yeah. So the judges are actually closer? Yes. Mm. Yeah. And the jury can contest what the judges see. See, this is the problem having yeah, a jury because the they need to feel like they need to be involved. Like yeah. if, you, if you don't actually mm. do anything, then you're not... Uh, isn't that weird? Does yeah. any of this happen in, in running, Murray? Uh, yeah, it can. They can refer to a, like a, a video marshal as well. Yeah. Yep. yeah, and what would that be for? Um, yeah, pretty much like... Starts? Yeah, yeah. starts. Yeah. Um, particularly like, yeah, the one that they, they do the most now is like in the hundreds and, and well, all the sprints, you know, because there's a no, DQ, uh, no false start rule. So it's, but it's, it's taken off a reaction time from when your foot leaves the block and you, you've got a certain... Um, milliseconds or you know whatever if you're outside of that or sorry inside of that then it's qualified as a false start so they go back and look at the video to see if that's the case right mm. oh that's right they actually have a uh, a timing sort of thing yeah. for your feet so, so right at the start now there's a little little video screen and if yeah. they call a false start they'll walk over and they'll look at the tape and then make a decision yeah but but wait because like a video you can't tamper with the video but what's this jury like <laughs> Uh, what the fuck? Weird. Well, they go. Do they do they have a video to watch? Uh, I guess they can watch replays oh, of the lift. I'm, I'm okay. actually not. Yeah, I think they have like little monitors, like oh. on the desk, and they can kind of look uh, back at it. And you know what's weird? weird? Every, everyone's arms are different too. Like exactly. some people, you know, that that might yeah. be full extension for some people, especially yeah, exactly. you guys who are, tr- you know, yeah, yeah. just your arms are ham. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I guess the hyper flexibility for some people's elbows yeah. make it a lot easier. And uh, I get, and hey, I'm no doubt the jury uh, would be in the sport themselves. If you're like this and you can hold it for how many seconds? Three or something? Isn't it something? I would say roughly that. Just how long it takes for you to put your feet together. So There'd be no. Three. I mean, this would be just as hard. I mean, if you've got your elbows out, that's yeah. locked on, right? Yeah. But if it's like this, that's. Pissing hard too, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, oh. make it any easier. Man, that but sounds tough. <laughs> it's the sport, I guess. You got to respect it. Technology is ruining sport. Wow. Possibly, it, it yeah. Is. I think yeah. it is. <laughs> I mean, what is it? It's it's one of those things, isn't it? It's like, on the one hand, yeah, yeah but then yeah. Or, or imagine this: you're you've made your way. You're a judge. There's the judges for this event. Then there's the jury. Imagine if you were the jury that entire day and you actually didn't say anything. Were you being a good juror? So was that their time to go, oh, you know what, I guess what, <laughs> everyone needs to hear me for this yeah. little bit. But, and, you know, but someone like needs the, to listen to me for this one bit and on you go. But what about you too? Like you would have been so excited to get the three white lights and then they come and tell you, oh, it's a Yeah, I had no, yeah, I was backstage getting ready for my next one and then yeah. they're like, yeah, they called back, yeah, my last lift. And it just kind of happened so quick. In hindsight, I wish I just went up heavier again anyway. Yeah. But it all just happened so quick and I just went back out. Missed the third one at that one as well. Oh, so what did that mean? Uh, I only got the 120 my first attempt. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so he sort of got that, like what I was talking about before, where like suddenly he was you yeah. know, going from probably having a rest for a few to just come, have to come in straight yeah. back out. How? How can you anyone what, do though, that? Can you do well that in done. running, Murray? Do you think you have the performance to do your best, be it a hundred or four hundred? You know, can have they? Is there any science behind? Um, you'd have to think it's impossible to instantly repeat something mm. and be yeah. better. Oh yeah, in that power like range, it's you know when you talk about your cre- like your creatine systems and stuff like there's yeah. the replenishing sort of time for that. Like you, it's it's really hard to do that. Like you need 
you know, you need a good few minutes to be able to yeah. sort of bank it back up. Yeah. Does uh, anyone go for the heaviest thing? Because they, I'm fresh, <laughs> I'm just out of the shower. Here we go. Oompa! Beat that. Because they know. <laughs> well, like first attempt? Or wait. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, like beat this. Just go like. Here we go. Bang. If you miss all three snatches, you're out. So oh. <laughs> it's probably oh. best not to try to risk it like that. Oh, okay. So, wait, all right. So, um, 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Are you yep. going to be trying out for that? Uh, yeah. It's a <gasps> long Exciting. process. Is it? Since, yeah, well, that's kind of why I mentioned I'm back in a, nu- like a nutrition plan already. Like oh, that's okay, how yeah. early I need to start. Because our qualifying period starts this year. Yeah. There's six comps starting in November all the way through to the Olympics, which everyone who wants to contest it has to do. Basically because of, um, obviously, doping's a big problem in the sport. They're making six competitions that anyone who wants to contest it has to do, so they're subject to the drug testing. So, yeah, I pretty much need to be back at it. Okay, so the next two years, so you're going to have to sacrifice that relationship with that perfect girl again. Aren't you? <laughs> Relationship with the bar at the moment. <laughs> oh, but yeah, it, it's it's a lot harder to make the Olympics than the Com Games as well. Oh, is it? A lot it? harder. Like, say, I, I had to be the number one in Australia to make Com Games. I need to be number one in the Oceania region to make the Olympics. Is that right? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, so you can't have just everyone for, representing a country necessarily. That's just for yeah. That's just for weightlifting. That's the rules that they've made. I'm not sh- quite sure what it is for track and field, mm. but yeah. that's what they've set for weightlifting just recently. No, as it still as it still be qualifying times um, that like you know IAAF will pass down, and then Australian athletics will sort of be subjective about that how they take those qualifying standards. They can you know make them harder, or they can you know whatever. But um, yeah, like we, it, it won't be one from Oceania. There'll be, there'll be a number from Oceania for us. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, Murray, I remember you were doing two events. Mm. Right. One was the four hundred meter. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. And Initially, then one was yeah, yep. the four, the, uh, the the relay, the yep. relay that was well publicised. I remember yeah. seeing that in Japan. Tell us about your yeah. time, your yeah. days. Or so, um, I guess the first sort of blow that I had was um, the you know just talking about good little link in there. Um, so at the end of the day, Australian athletics set their um, qualifying standard um, after um, at forty six point zero seconds, and I'd run forty six point two seconds at the national trials at the, you know, to win the um, Australian Championship and that was after three consecutive nights of running so you know talk about backing up and stuff you know, in, a, in our event there's a lot of lactic and fatigue so it takes a toll on your body so in the end they said no nah, look we're not going to stretch the um, standard out at all we're going to keep it at 46.0 even though you're 0.2 of a second outside it so, Wankers. so I didn't get to uh, <laughs> sorry didn't get to run individually so that was a I sort well, of but took did, a, was there still Aussies in the uh... they took one guy to run the individual who didn't run at the Australian Championships but had um, it was running over in America um, so yeah they selected a guy that uh, won the, the past national championship but didn't run the, the, the current one so um, Where is he from? You know, Melbourne or somewhere, probably Sydney. So, yeah, <laughs> Sydney. Right. Yeah, no, I, Northern I, Beaches was he? It was nothing. It was probably nothing related to the judges. <laughs> I reckon. Um, you know how it works. All this venomous stuff coming out. Oh, of I just get right into it because there's always, uh, yeah, you know, you as an athlete, and you know. Y- you, you've got a lot of time to think about that stuff. Like, why was I this yeah. and why did they let that guy? He wasn't yeah, here, yeah. here for the Nationals. Mm. Like, come on. Oh, no. What's his name? No, no. <laughs> Don't even no, say they're all good. They're all good guys. It's, it's obviously not them that picked the team. Um, it was the hardest point then was watching once while we were we, – the individuals competed, um, you know, some of the times that, like, guys were running, like, you know, 48, 51 seconds, like, wow. um, from other countries sort of thing. So, like, you know, we would have come to be – me and the top two from the Australian National Championships would have like made it through the heats, been very competitive in the semi-finals, possibly made the final. So, it's a, well, hey, come on, let's pause there. Tactically, for that that sport, they mm. made a decision to allow someone from Sydney. Meanwhile, it's a hometown event, and we've got a Gold Coaster here, who's actually passed in the first, like we said, and and someone's reversed that decision to let someone out of town. Yeah, oh, I'm a bit bitter about that. You yeah, it's, it was, it's probably more. It's just um, it's just interesting how every country gets to adopt the international athletics federation standards to their own choosing. So you know, as I said, it's like some countries will be a very lenient. Like what the the IAAF standard isn't obviously that 
it's not that great. And then some countries can choose to be just be like, yeah, well, we're just going to go with the the slowest time that you can possibly run to run in the Commonwealth Games, whereas Australia, um, you know, in, in sometimes it works. Like you know, it ensures that we've got a really high quality team. Yeah. But in other times, you're like, this sucks. Like I'm, I could make a you know semi final final here. Yeah. And yet I'm sitting on the sidelines watching guys that are running four seconds slower than me over a sprint race. Like. Yeah, so that, that one's And you're in your hometown. Yeah. You're just parked yeah. over yeah. there. Yes. That's your coffee shop. Sense. And I, like, I'm, maybe I'm just really, really amateur, but, like, if you're going to do something, wouldn't you, like, aim to do the best you can at yeah. it? So why wouldn't you just put in all your fastest runners is how mm. I would think. But Anyway, we will... Um, yeah, or well, I would think more like, no, it's a hometown event here. There's the hometown boy. Um you know, I'm a bit more marketing orientated, I reckon. Selling T-shirts, you know what I mean? Mm. Murray Goodwin, here, here he is. So yeah. keep going, mate. Sorry oh, to Murray Goodwin, yeah. You know okay, what I'm saying? Instead of going, getting though. some blow-in from Sydney, who wasn't even here for the Aussies, <laughs> he won't say it, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then, so, and then so in our relay, um, yeah, it, it did, <laughs> didn't really go to plan. Um, we I ran, know. What's the go with that? So, so we, yeah, so we ended up getting disqualified after the heat. We were third fastest team um, in, <gasps> in, in terms of what times. Um, but we didn't get to run in the final, which was, again, like Brenda was speaking about, like disappointment. It's like, you, you know, we're all, we're Aussies, we're competitors. You know, you, you want to you wanna win shit. Like, you know, you're out there to, you're not making up the numbers. You want to be out there sort of doing the best you can. So... Um, yeah, it was it was really sort of it, yeah, it, was, it was an emotional couple of you know days hours um, sort of trying to digest it all. Yeah. Um, it, it was. But tell me about your part because you started the yeah, race. Yeah, so started the race and, and we break were, it down again. Bro, yeah. how were you feeling? Were you feeling strong? Yeah, we're feeling, feeling good. Feeling. Yeah. I, I mean, that was the, the positive of, of having your first international experience. Uh, you know, running in a team rather than running individual. I mean far out like that was that was awesome like that feeling when you turn up to the warm-up track like for us obviously we do so much you know like brando individually so when you got the opportunity to be part of a team like this whole experience for me like you know you want to soak in that that experience and that honor of being part of the aussie team and then to do that in a relay as well like when we walk like I, there was honestly like there wasn't there wasn't fear there was just like this huge adrenaline of just being so pumped to be out there you're in a band yeah and and you you know you get around the boys and and everyone's like you know like pumping each other up on on the warm-up track and And you know drummer just just didn't you know stand in the right spot yeah yeah so like we're we're just we're just amped for it and then um you know like we were given pretty strict instructions like you know today today's not the day you win a medal boys today's just the day you sort of feel it out and you you know we were really confident that we were you know obviously going to be getting through the heats and then being competitive the 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 next night so um we had two debutantes as well myself and the guy that ran second so we were given pretty clear sort of direction as well in terms of tactics for the race to just to make sure that we sort of eased ourselves into the race and then sort of just worked our way home so to, just to ensure that like if you get it if you if you go out too hard in the 400 like yeah. it can get really sort of like ugly yeah. like if you're stopping right. you know, and, and embarrassing minutes, and obvious yeah, yeah, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah so the instructions were just you know sort of feel yourself into the race and then just you know just come home strong so you're passing the baton with speed and tomorrow we'll go out with aggression and try and just you know just you know, put ourselves in a level that we haven't ever been to before. So, you know, like uh, you, uh, in a way too, it was like, damn, I d- we didn't get to show our best. Yeah. Like, even though we ran well and we were third fastest qualifier, like we all felt like we had more up our sleeve as well. Coming like to do to th- th- the following night, and um, yeah, it was it was weird. Uh, like the one of the small positives is that we didn't obviously know we were disqualified when we crossed the line. Like we had that moment of like the crowd going nuts, and yeah. you know. Pat Welsh and Channel Seven just like being like, "This is awesome, boys." Well, where did you finish in the race? Because they so we that finished was a third. Blur. Yeah, yeah. So we finished third in the race. So you would have qualified. Is that yep. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we were you, we would have been the third fastest team for the final the following night. Um, so yeah, so we we had we got that feeling of like the success of it all, and then it was just like we got back into the call room and we got back through like post you know post race media and all that sort of stuff and. And then we'll get in this drift of like, oh, something's not right. And then it was like, bang, like boys yeah. look, you know, like there's been a like a disqualification in Team Australia at the moment. So then there was this huge process of going through like yeah. a, a, a protest and all that. So the, where it happened was between our third and fourth runners. Yeah. Um, 
So when, you, when you're doing a 4x4, four four, when the guy that's running third goes past the 200-meter mark, the guy 